Welcome back everyone, Munoz here from Northern Lights TV, back with another video for you guys. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you know when we drop some more content. Uh, today, I'm bringing you guys another product review, and what we're reviewing today is the uh, Blackhawk Omnivore um, holster. So this is an outside the waistband um, strong side holster. For those of you who aren't too familiar with it, this is a universal outside the waistband holster. Um, it accommodates two lights. So if you have this uh, Streamlight TLR1 or the Surefire X300, you'll be able to purchase this holster and have a universal holster when you're out in the range um, in case you don't want to be buying a bunch of holsters. Um, the reason I chose this specific holster is because I'm actually putting together a uh, duty belt or range belt but I'm doing a more budget side belt for I know there's a lot of people out there who want to build a duty belt or want to make a range belt but let's say we don't necessarily have the funds to buy the latest and greatest stuff um, so this is where this belt is going to come in I'm going to have a future video on as well but that's the reason that I chose this product um, so we're definitely going to be testing it out also I did want to let you guys know I did just start a Patreon, so if you um, feel like you want to donate to the channel, if you find it in your heart to donate what you can to the channel, um, everything will go towards um, products, so holsters, belts, those type of things. Um, they'll also go towards ammunition and training and of course firearms for review. I'm going to link the uh, Patreon down below. So make sure you take a look at the description. I have the Patreon link there. If you feel like becoming a Patreon, um, I would definitely appreciate it. I've never done Patreon before. This is my first go at it. But it will definitely help out the channel, help this channel grow and keep going. So if you do that, um, I appreciate it. I'm definitely going to have some things like uh, exclusive Patreon only content. You guys will get early access, some behind the scenes uh, footage as well. So if you want to become a Patreon and help out the channel, feel free to do that. Alright, so without further ado, let's get the tabletop review of the Blackhawk Omnivore out of the way. And also show you some footage of me using the firearms as well. Alright guys, so here we have it, the Blackhawk Omnivore. Let's open it up and see what comes inside. Um, so for those of you that don't know, this is a level 2 retention holster. So what that means is you can't just pull your firearm out of this holster. You have to depress right here with your thumb and then you'll be able to pull out your holster. And you can wear it one of two ways. Um, one of them is a paddle, so you'll attach it here and then you'll be able to slide it in um, on your belt or on your waist with the paddle. And you can also wear it actually on your belt. So what you do is you put your your belt through these loops and then you'll be able to wear it that way so attach it directly to your belt or the paddle and then of course it does come with your hardware your screws all you're gonna do is either put this paddle back here and align the holes and put in your three screws or align the uh, the one with the belt loops and do that and I'll show you guys some footage of me wearing the belt as well before we do that I just wanted to bring out some firearms so here we have my MMP compact uh, no mag nothing in the chamber um, so just to show you guys really quick with this holster I'll be able to put in my firearm and then as you can see it does not come out there's no way for it to come out unless I depress this thumb right here with my thumb and then the firearm comes right out so I'll show you guys this way I can't pull it out I have to push in with my thumb and then the firearm comes out all right and here we have my MMP spec series so full-size gun uh, just wanted to show you guys again put it in there and it does not come out no way for it to come out unless I depress here and then it comes out Show you again, it does not come out until I depress 
and then my firearm comes out. And then lastly, I have my uh, Smith & Wesson SD9VE uh, with the TLR1. And again, just to show you guys, put it in there and it does not come out. The press and it'll let it out. And it has a good amount of retention. It doesn't come out. Uh, again, what it's locking onto is the light. So you do have to have the light on there for it to grab the pistol. And I like that it locks it in. It doesn't let you pull it out until you depress and then it releases your firearm. All right, so here we have the Omnivore with the paddle on. So like I said, um, all you have to do, it does come with three screws as you can see right there. Uh, you can choose the height that you want it at and stuff like that. You can customize it. You just put in those three screws uh, and then you can go ahead and slide it into your pants. This will hook onto your belt. Um, and that's with the uh, paddle. So this is called a paddle. So this will go up against your body like that and then your firearm will be here. You'll just depress here. Um, when I tried it out with the paddle, I wasn't a big fan. I think there's way too much room here um, for it to play like in your belt. So when you pull up, it'll grab it here, but the holster kind of lifts up a little bit before it releases the firearm. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of the paddle. Alright, and here we have the Omnivore holster with the belt loops. Um, I would 100% recommend if you buy this holster and, and you put it on your belt to use the belt loops. Uh, when I used it with the belt loops, it felt a lot more sturdier. I didn't feel the holster move as much when I was uh, pulling out my firearm. Uh, I definitely think the belt loops is a better way to go. Um, just to add some more rigidity to the holster and make it a little more stiffer. I would also recommend, um, like if you put this on your duty belt, range belt, battle belt, whatever you want to call it, to um, get a leg strap, which is what I'm going to do for sure, just to make sure that that holster is a little um, is a little more sturdy and it's not, it doesn't have room to wiggle, you know what I mean? So when you put it on your belt, it's still going to have some room to move up a little bit like this, but with the leg strap, that should fix the problem. Uh, but I definitely liked it better with the belt loops than I did with the paddle so i would definitely recommend you wear it this way
Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. That was the Blackhawk Omnivore Universal Outside the Waistband Holster. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll definitely uh, give you whatever answers I have on this holster. I am gonna test this out on the range to make sure it works out for me. Uh, so I'll bring you guys that review as well. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you know when we drop some content. Please consider becoming a Patreon. If so, I am going to do a giveaway for the people that become Patreons. I'm going to make some hoodies and hopefully get some uh, patches done as well to give those out to you guys. So I really, really appreciate you. As always, stay protected, stay safe, keep it on you, and I'll see you on the next one.